Hi friends, here in this video, I will be explaining the definition of factor of safety. So, let's get started. So, to explain the factor of safety, here I have drawn a stress versus strain graph for the ductile material. Now, in this graph, as we can see from 0 to 1, it is called as the proportional limit where stress is directly proportional to strain and the material it is obeying Hooke's law after that when it reaches point number 2 that is called as the elastic limit that is the material behaves in an elastic manner up to point number 2 the moment we remove the load the material will regain its original shape and size and after that when it crosses point number 2 the material goes into the yielding stage that is it goes into the plastic deformation or the permanent deformation stage and finally at point number 5 the material is subjected to maximum stress which is called as the ultimate stress and at that location the load is maximum in the material and after that just after that even if we reduce the stress as we can see here when we are having a stress which is much less than the maximum stress over here in that case also the strain has increased the strain as we can see here increases even though the stress has been decreased and finally at point number 6 the material breaks called as the breaking point so at the breaking point it can be clearly seen that even though the stress is much lower then the maximum stress but the material has broken at point number 6 so the target should be in such a way that we have to avoid the material going into this region and to avoid that we have to reduce the stress that is when the material is being designed or if there is a component to be designed which is subjected to loading we should see that that component should not reach the maximum stress maximum stress in turn means maximum load so the maximum load should not be there on the material in its working condition or in its service condition so the moment we try to move the material away from this ultimate stress or the maximum stress we use a factor called as factor of safety which is given by it is denoted as FOS It is called as the ultimate stress upon the working stress that is factor of safety is the ratio of ultimate stress to the working stress. So in order to explain it I am considering an example like for example if the ultimate stress or the maximum stress is equal to 360 Newton per mm square then the working stress should be much less than this value so i am assuming a factor of safety and factor of safety is simply a number that number is a positive number and the assumption here is fos is equal to 4 so when i put these values over here i am going to get the working stress as ultimate stress divided by factor of safety so it is 360 divided by 4 and it comes out to be 90 Newton per mm square so by taking this value that is 90 Newton per mm square the material would be designed it would not be designed by taking a value of 360 Newton per mm square because that is corresponding to the maximum stress and we see that in this graph when the material has reached a state of maximum stress then after it even though the stress has been decreased the material may break at any given point so to avoid that we are reducing the stress and as can be clearly seen from 360 it had it has been reduced up to 90 it means we can say see that there is 75 percent decrease in the amount of stress so now the material would be operating somewhere in this region which is the proportional limit so this green line which i am showing that is corresponding to the working stress and that working stress in this example which i have taken it is 90 Newton per mm square so we can say that when the material would be designed it would be designed by taking a value of 90 it means it won't cross this value of 90 
so when it won't cross this value of 90 it won't be reaching the maximum stress which is of 360 newton per mm square so the material operates well below we can say that in the proportional limit so it is not going to get permanently deformed so that is the reason we are using the factor of safety and factor of safety it depends upon various factors like for example it may depend upon the material the type of surface finish then the type of heat treatment the material is subjected to at the same time the type of loading which we are applying and the type of service conditions which we are using like for example wherever human safety is considered or more importance is given to human life like for example in the design of aircrafts even in the design of uh, trains in that case the factor of safety is taken as a high value even in case of the design of elevators or lifts the factor of safety is taken high compared to normal for example nuts and bolts or screws in that the factor of safety is less compared to in those applications where the human life is considered or there is a threat to the human life in that case more factor of safety is to be considered so that we move away from the maximum stress into the proportional limit so in short that was a video regarding the factor of safety at the end if you all find my videos helpful you all can like share comment and subscribe our channel and share it amongst your family and friends thanks for watching